Hi y'all, this is Laura from My Tennis 2 Journey. I just wanted to jump on here really quick and give an update. Things have been crazy around here and it's been a real roller coaster. Um, a lot of it to do with Caroline. She is the crazy train we're on a lot of times. It's just her health has been really bad. The other girl's health is like Hannah and Rachel's. Hannah's been really sick and down a lot. But their health issues aren't emergent, whereas, or em emergency type situations, whereas Caroline's can be. Um, in the last month, we've been to the ER three times. If you go back a week, five weeks, we've been four times, three of those by ambulance. And it's been really um, crazy little things. Um, I won't go into big detail on that. I'll tell you that. Um, you can see any of that on our um, daily vlogging channel, A Spoonful of Us. And I'll link to that up here and down below. Um, <clears throat> it's So we're, we're tracking all that on there. If you're interested in seeing that, go by and check it out. Um, it has a lot more with the girls. With Rachel is doing most of the vlogging. or um, She's editing and doing so much of it. Um, and then Caroline and Hannah and I are in there as well. I need to get better about it. I promise. It was my idea to go back to daily vlogging and I'm the one who's not doing it as well. So anyway, um, that's where we're at on Caroline's health. Well, no, that's not exactly it. Um, end of September, her doctor wanted her to go to Mayo Clinic. We sent in all the paperwork, did all the stuff we were supposed to do, and they denied her. And from what we're hearing, it has to do with her mast cell issues that they're at Rochester um, Mayo, there have been issues there with between the allergy department and the internal medicine department to sum it up quickly. Um, and if you're going to see more than one doctor when you go to Mayo, you have, or more than two doctors, I'm sorry, you have to go through internal medicine. And they review your stuff and they turn you away or let you in. And apparently they've been turning away people with mast cell issues and so now we're sort of in limbo about what we're going to do about that. We see her allergist Monday. We drive to Jackson. Actually Hannah and Rachel will be seeing him for the first time. So we're going Monday to Jackson, Mississippi to do that and then um, her GI is not really sure what to do with her so um, he wanted her to go to Mayo as well and that fell through so we've been looking other places and we have family in Little Rock and it turns out that um, a family member works at a GI office he gave her information to the one of the doctors um, and she's agreed to see her and we'll go up there November 8th so that's all for Caroline the rest of us have just been running around like crazy we've done Caroline's done some more gastro testing and um, it's just been real busy with all that. It just like the last two weeks I have been out every single day. And I know people do that all the time. But running to doctors in every day it, or three times a week gets hard on you. Um, and so it's been really, really crazy. After the Jackson trip, things in November are slower. We do have a Jackson trip one week and uh Little Rock trip in next week and we have to get to Jackson another time in there somewhere because she gets to go back to Jackson after Thanksgiving and we've got to get her an EEG in Jackson before that. So it's going to be sort of crazy. It's just what it is. You know, we'll, we'll see. Um, we're anxious to see what this doctor has to say. She had said initially before she saw her records that she would either look at her records and see her or, or if she didn't think she could help her, she would recommend something else. So, we're going to go and see what she has to say. I do plan on having some other videos that are coming up that um, I'll be filming in the next few days after Jackson. <laughs> um, I may try to film a couple more today. We'll see. But, I'm looking forward to getting back into filming and hopefully life will be a little calmer in the next few months. But, who knows? And when we're in Little Rock, I'll probably do more of a vlog while we're there and share that when we come home. And that's really, you know, all that's going on here is just just the daily stuff of 
trying to take care of all these chronically ill girls and, and myself and Gene is working like crazy. He's right now working seven days a week. He has been for a couple of weeks and poor guy is just so tired but um, that's where we're at right now with everything that's going on. I hope to be sharing some new Instant Pot um, videos and some other cooking videos um, before the holidays come and one I want to share really badly is Jean's mother, grandmother's pumpkin bread. It is awesome. Every time I've made that pumpkin bread, and I've been making it now for like 33 years, um, every time I've made it, everybody just loves it because it's a little bit spicier than um, most pumpkin breads. They can be sort of bland. This one has more cinnamon and nutmeg and cloves, and it's just got a really good t flavor. And so I'm looking forward to getting that one done and a couple of other videos. I've had a lot of new subscribers and I'm really thankful for you all. I can't believe how many I've gotten in the last couple of months and it's just really means a lot to me that you're interested in what's going on here. I love it when you leave comments and just let me know who you are. I've had a, several just do that and it's really nice and um, I've even had some asking me if I had certain recipes and that's great. I appreciate that so much. So if you um, are interested in anything like that let me know we do cook a wide variety of different kinds of foods because we have a lot of special diets in this family and so we do things a lot differently than um, many people we have um, people who can't have any grains we have people who um, most of us don't do dairy and or gluten and then um, Hannah has to be really careful. So no dyes, no anything processed. So we do a little bit differently here than a lot of people, but it works for us. So if you have any questions about special diets and, and cooking and how we've adapted things in our family, leave me a comment and let me know. And if you want me to, I can do a video on that. Once again, go check out our daily vlogs and you can see a lot of what's going on and what we're doing around here. And it's not, I mean, we don't leave the most exciting life because we're spoonies. So we, you know, our excitement is ER visits and we don't do, you know, adventure things. But, but we, um, we work together as a family and it's a unique circumstance because our adult daughters are at home and pursuing things that they're interested in you know, um, while we're all battling chronic illness. So I hope you'll check that out. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the subscriptions and the kind comments. I really appreciate them. God bless y'all and have a great day. Bye.